So, Resurrection Remix is still one of the best customizable ROMs that you can flash on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. I have been using this 27th August 2018 build on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today I'm gonna show you how is the build holding up actually as of now. So without further ado, let's get started. I am using a Google Pixel Launcher mod from XDA which I'll link in the description box below so don't worry because this ROM offers Trebuchet Launcher by default which I personally don't like. This Pixel Launcher has Google Now cards to the left and swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel or notification drawer which I really like so that's why I am using this launcher here. This ROM is handling everything super fine, no issues I have faced whatsoever. Here is the quick settings panel again. You have option to add tiles quickly just by one tapping them in the edit option. We have live display or night mode working super fine here. One thing that I miss is there is no 5GHz option in hotspot just the regular 2.4GHz option is present here. Inside settings, system, we have advanced here where you will find an option to enable camera to API. So what it means, you won't need any root permission or there is no need to flash magisk to enable camera to API in this ROM which is just great. Which I will be showing you later on. Here is the about section of this ROM. As you can see, I am using the 27th August 2018 build again which is running on top of Android 8.1 Oreo. August 5th 2018 security patch here and here is a long long stock kernel name for you. Gaming performance and stuff is very similar to previous builds of this ROM which is great there is no issues regarding performance or even gaming performance everything runs super fine here in this build. One really good thing over here is Google Tez or Google Pay if you wanna call it that way now is working super fine in this ROM right out of the box without any help of magisk. Now let me open up a few apps and show you the app open up speeds and RAM management as well as you can see. App openups are super fine and the app open up speeds are fine enough and RAM management is really really good over here. Even opening an app from memory in the end of the day isn't a problem almost every app stays in memory so that's a good thing. Talking about performance as in this ROM the day to day usage won't be an issue. The battery life over here is great too. You can easily get more than 8 hours of screen on time easily so battery life isn't an issue. So in my frank opinion if you want to use a stable ROM based on Android 8.1 Oreo with a ton of customizations you should definitely try this one. In terms of customizations I am not gonna show everything to you again. It does have everything which you can expect. It has Vault logo up top on the status bar and it does work fine of course. You can change battery icon, you can change clock style and literally all other things are present over here. Sliding a finger on the status bar to adjust brightness is there and you can double tap to put the phone into sleep on the status bar or even in the navigation panel, I mean the blank area of the navigation buttons. And yes, we do have double tap to wake here too which you can find in display settings. And one thing that I wanna talk about here that do not turn on this pocket detection because I have seen it's a bit buggy and if you leave it turned on, it's gonna take a lot more time to wake the screen sometimes from idle. So yeah, that's that. Don't turn this pocket detection mode on. And I'm using this smart bar here which you can customize a lot. As you can see, I changed the long press action for the menu button or the recents button to take a screenshot. You can change the whole system UI animations from here and we have the screen of CRT animation too in this ROM as you can see. And we do have navigation and gestures like MIUI which is a great thing if you want to take advantage of the full 18-9 display all the time. But do note that it's not as flawless as MIUI 10 edge gestures so expect it to be a hit or miss. I would say it does work 8 out of 10 times. And this ROM has Snapdragon camera by default which is pretty basic but about the camera to API, well yes, Google camera works super fine here let me just show you. Let me take a portrait selfie and here are the samples. Low light portrait selfie, daylight portrait selfie 
and some rear camera pictures without portrait mode. Here is the fingerprint scanner speed of this ROM, pretty fast as you can see. And face unlock does work super fine here so you don't have to worry about auto face unlocking. So that's been it, that's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and many more awesome contents will be coming shortly so don't forget to hit that bell icon. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today, I'll catch you guys in the next one.